friends, Dr. Beck here. Welcome to Art Ways Where Learning is Fun. November is National Native American Month. And what we're going to do is we're going to make some totem poles. Uh, what they are are monuments that were created by the First Nations of the Pacific Northwest. They represent or commemorate their ancestry, history, people, events, and they were made of red cedar. We're gonna use a paper towel tube. What you're going to need for today is a paper towel tube, or you can use a container like from an oatmeal or breadcrumbs. You're going to need some flour and water and some glue to mix up to make your paper mache. You're going to need scissors to cut out the wings and the beak and the feathers, because a lot of times the totem poles will have images of animals on there to represent different things and a ton of cut paper and make plenty of paper to cover your table with. The first thing I want to do is cut out wings. And what I did was I put two, I folded paper together and then I cut two out at the same time. This way they're the same size. Okay. And that's my wings. Now, how do we attach these wings? Well, what I like to do is cut tabs. And what these tabs do is help secure the wing to staying on nice and straight. So this is where our tape comes in handy. We're gonna take those tabs and fold them in half. And we're going to put half on the wing this way. And then get it ready to go like this. And I'm going to put the wing right about here. Put it on straight. Get the tape on in the back. Now you see that it just falls backwards. So let's get a piece of tape this way. Put it half here, nice and straight. Make a nice deep crease in there. And this way, so now look at how nice it stays on. Oops, time for wing two. Here's my other tab, I'm gonna fold it in half. And this wing is gonna be on, on this side, so. Going to put this on here, right to the end like this. Put tape on here. Now I'm going to stand this up. Get the wing nice and even. I'm looking; it looks pretty straight to me. Now I'm going to need to get tape on the front of that as well. Nice and snug and around. There we go. Balanced. Next. I'm going to put the two little ears on. I'm going to put the tape on first. Put one ear in the, oh, no, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just give it a little bend like that, just a little. One ear here. Tape on here. Again, a little bend like that. One ear here. There we go. Now, I want to put the beak on. What I want to do is I get a rectangle of some cardboard and I'm going to cut a point for the beak on one end. Then what I want to do is I want to fold this right up the middle. So the beak is pointing out like this a little. 
But now look, it's straight. So what I want to do is something pretty nifty. I'm going to cut a little snip right there, halfway down. And I'm going to do this. Watch. I'm just going to go this way. There we go. Like this. So I almost made like a little cone. I'm going to put tape right on here. And then I'm going to go right here, aim for where I want the beak in the middle, and do this. Now what I want to do also is put a little tape underneath as well. So now we have our ears, wings, and our beak. Now what you need to do is mix about a half a cup of flour into a disposable bowl, don't use a good bowl, uh, some water, and some Elmer's glue. Put two big squirts of Elmer's glue in there and then mix it up and it becomes like a little pasty looking, it almost looks like pancake batter, okay? And then I'm going to start putting on my paper mache. And what you do is you dip a whole piece in, both sides. And then I like to take my fingers and just run it through just like this. And I get most of that glue off. You don't want to saturate this or else it's going to get all soggy and probably wind up crushing. And then you can start putting some big pieces on in the body of your totem pole. Now what I like to do is get pieces to become almost like additional tape pieces. So I dip it, I wipe it, and then what I do is I do this where I get half on the body, half on the wing, make a nice crease, and then pull it out like this and smooth it. This is really important when you do paper mache. When you add all these pieces of paper and you want, I like to use uh, not straight cut paper. I like to use ripped paper. I like to take the extra minute and not leave any creases or bumps in the paper mache. While the paper, while the paper is wet from the paper mache that you made, you could smooth it out completely. And this way, when it dries, you won't be ending up with any kind of bumpy, dry paper. Get a nice smooth finish. Again, I cannot stress. Get this all off. Get this all off. Make sure your paper is nice and smooth. And if you find that there's a little bump, just rip the paper a little. There you go. Do that. Smooth. Take that extra second to smooth out all of your paper that you're adding. Rip. Dip. I call it squeegeeing it off. Again, especially anything that's attached, half on the attached, half on the body of the totem pole. So it creates an additional strength to hold in whatever it is you're doing. Another thing I like to do is make sure the edges of the cardboard are covered. So I'm gonna do something like this, half in the front, half on the back, Go nice and tight on the edge. Ah, there we go. Look at that, nice and smooth. Boom. Smaller areas, use smaller pieces of paper. Okay. I have to face this towards me a sec. 
And I like to rip all different size pieces of paper because I don't know what I'm gonna need next. So body, I want bigger, longer pieces. Beak, I need smaller pieces. Again, put it on. If you need to, rip it a little so it fits nice and snug. and tuck it, always tuck it underneath. Tuck it so that it's nice and flat. You want the paper nice and flat. Always get that excess glue off. Always smooth it. You want to go nice and smooth. Sometimes if I don't want a lot of glue, I don't even dip it. I just get what's on my hands. If I'm in an area that I know. Another thing, when you're done paper macheing, what I like to do also is take the entire totem pole off that particular paper and put it on a dry piece of paper so it doesn't stick to the paper. So I allowed my totem pole to dry overnight. I like it nice and dry and look, it's nice and hard. Everything's on secure. And now what I want to do is give it a base coat of white paint. To hold, I like to hold it. So what I do is I start at the top. And then after we give it a coat of white paint, we're gonna to have to let it dry again. So this process takes a little bit of time. You could start your pole in the morning and you could finish it by the end of the day or you could let it go overnight. So now my paint has dried and I'm ready to decorate my totem pole. And you could do yours any way you want. You could draw whatever you'd like on there. I'm going to start off. I'm going to outline everything that I'm going to paint in a black Sharpie so you can see.
And again, the smoother you made your paper mache, the easier this will be. You always want to make sure you include some eyes for whatever animal you're going to be putting on your totem pole. Because the animals are stacked, you're going to be drawing one thing on top of another. Draw as many as you'd like. And these feet are going to turn into the eyes of the next animal. In this case, it's going to be a bird. One more face down here. There. Now I'm going to paint. Thank you for visiting Artways today because there are so many ways to use art. I hope everybody enjoyed making their totem poles, made them colorful, made them unique. Don't forget, be smart, include art. See you next time.